Okay guys, today we're going to look at the derivative of the inverse of trigonometry. So uh, when talking about the inverse of trigonometry, we're talking about the arc assigned. So if we have y is equal to arc assigned, then y is equal to arc tan x, then y is equal to sec x, uh, arc sec x. So when we have to derive this form, formula, we're going to say y is equal to arc sin x. Then to remove this arc sign, so we're going to do to swipe the value of x with the value of y. So then for we're going to have x is equal to uh, y. We're going to have x is equal to y. Uh, okay, so we're going to have x is equal to sine uh, y. Therefore, we derive a both side. If we derive the derivative of x is equal to one, and then the derivative of a sine y is equal to cos y. Then wherever you deriving. Uh, y is equal to we add dy over dx. Therefore, we derive or we divide both sides. Remember, we are looking for the derivative which we are looking for dy over dx. Then we're going to have 1 over y cos, uh, cos y. So, because of the identities are remember those identities if you have a sign squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1 so in this case we are looking for the value of cos x now so we're going to derive the value of cos x in these identities we're going to jump uh swipe this value uh we jump it at the equal sign Therefore, it's going to have a cos x is equal to 1 minus a sine squared all squared. Therefore, we uh, then in this case, we are talking about the value of y. Then, of course, y is equal to the square root of 1 minus a sine squared y. So, therefore, we're going to substitute it in this uh, formula. Therefore, we're going to have a y yeah so one minus a sine squared y now so then remember if we are moving backward we say the x is equal to sine y so therefore the value of uh, this derivative we're going to have one over one over the square root of one minus x squared is equal to our derivative which is dy over dx now then this uh, square uh, x squared is this value of uh, i will say the x is equal to sine y therefore and then in here that means if we have sine squared y we going to substitute a sine because y x is equal to sine y then we're going to have 1 over square root of x, 1 minus x squared. So this formula is there in the formula sheet. So if you check your formula sheet, uh, arc sign, which is uh, the, the, if we are talking about the arc sign, that means this is the same as y is equal to sine to the power minus 1 x. So this arc, you can write it in this form, say the arc sine x, or else it's uh, the inverse of a sine, which is still is arc sine x. Therefore, uh, when we're deriving uh, the trigonometric ratio of a tan, we're going to do the same thing that we did uh, in this uh, equation. We're going to say y is equal to uh, arc, arc tan x, then we swipe up both the value We're going to have x is equal to uh, tan tan y. Then we derive a both side a derivative of one of x is equal to one. Then we have one is equal to then the derivative of tan uh, y is equal to sec uh, squared y. Then when we derive the value of y, we can say dy over dx then we have one over us uh, sec uh, sec 
uh, sec y squared and then is equals to dy over dx then we're going to look at the value of uh, some, the identity of 1 plus tan squared is equals to sec squared yeah. so then if we have uh, this value of a uh, sec squared we're going to say the, uh, okay then uh, 1 over a uh, sec squared so if we check here sec squared is equals to 1 plus tan uh, tan squared uh, x so we're going to have 1 so 1 over uh, 1 plus tan uh, tan squared y is equals to sorry this one's positive uh, dy over dx so remember we said uh, x is equals to tan uh, y so therefore our answer here we're going to have 1 over 1 plus x squared so this is how we derive uh, the inverse of a tree trigonometry so we're going to do uh, the same method we did here when we're deriving the value of a uh, sec the value of uh, the arc cosec and another yeah the value of cosec even the value of tan so uh, think we we'll find uh, this uh, video useful remember uh, to like it and uh, share